their faces, but they they wanted to go through that because they want the world to hear their child. They want their world to pay attention and to care. And that's why they went through that, because they wanted you to see it. A lot of these hostages, we understand, may be being held in tunnels, uh, those tunnels underneath Gaza, an incredibly complex network, and we have a special report on what those may look like, what those tunnels are, and why they are so significant in this moment uh, for the hostages, as well as for the next steps in this war for Israel. Plus, he was driving to the music festival, driving to the music festival early in the morning when Hamas attacked. He made it to a shelter. That is when it's a good day to start something new. The president saying he expects this to happen by Friday and vowing that he will get people out of Gaza. Of course, there has been no development on that front yet about people actually crossing. Comes this American pediatrician, Dr. Barbara Zinn, after 12 days that we've been telling her story, still desperately waiting for that day to come, one of the many Americans in Gaza right now. Last night when we spoke to her husband, Paul, he told us Barbara was rationing water. Now, a, a, a tiny, tiny ray of light here. I, we are now able to tell you that some food and water, additional supplies, made its way to where Barbara is. She says given to her by Nigerian Mercy Corps. Just to give you a sense of how broad the efforts here, Nigerian Mercy Corps. And as Israel tonight is preparing to begin a ground assault on Gaza, there are so many challenges. For them, and perhaps the biggest, is the underground tunnel system that the IDF actually calls the Gaza Metro. It's a considerable maze of tunnels. It obviously could easily conceal an ambush, be booby trapped. Uh, also, they say hostages there could be also filled with explosives, ready to cave in on anyone who attempts to go inside. I'm going to go now straight to Tom Foreman because he has been looking at everything we understand and know about these tunnels at the Magic Wall to understand why these are so central to everything right now. Tom, everything, the hostages, the war, any kind of ground incursion. What can you tell us about the tunnels? Well, considering, Aaron, how vast the tunnel network under Gaza is believed to be, there are relatively few details or pictures of it, but those that have, who have been there or who have researched this area tell us that these, this so-called Gaza metro consists of many, many passageways, many of them likely dug by hand by people who would uh, dig them out with rudimentary tools in many ways. We couldn't get big equipment in there. And then it's reinforced with concrete so it could not easily collapse. How long are they? Well, really, um, when you're considering that Gaza itself is only about 25 by six miles, very long. One estimate holds that the tunnels may wind around for more than 300 miles. How deep? That is unknown. Estimates run from maybe 30 or 40 feet down to much farther, although that would suggest some surprisingly sophisticated engineering, considering how in these photos many of these tunnels really appear to be quite cramped. So to take that down much deeper, Aaron, that's a much bigger challenge. Right, and obviously ventilation, although interesting, you know, one uh, hostage expert, Tom, was telling us he heard ventilation in the back of that one hostage video that we've actually seen, suggesting that there is ventilation and, and, they, and they are being held underground, as the IDF has indicated. So how is Hamas using the tunnels? And obviously this then becomes of central importance to the Israeli military. If you're going to be going in in any way with tanks or human boots, the tunnels underneath you. Yeah, there are many experts who suggest this really is a backbone of what Hamas does. What are the possible uses here? Well, among other things, it could be used for hiding places for command centers, weapons caches, rocket launching equipment, and yes, as you mentioned, Aaron, possibly hostages. They can also be used for key figures to move secretly from one part of Gaza to another, avoiding spying eyes, drone or satellite surveillance. And lastly, they offer a safe space unreachable by many standard munitions in some cases it really could take a a very hefty bunker buster type of bomb to be able to go in and smash through these reinforced uh areas under the ground like that and actually do any damage in any event aaron these tunnels we heard them talked about from the beginning they've been talked about all along and they really are a key to what hamas has done 
Well, interesting. You talk about those bunker buster bombs used for those tunnels uh, in Afghanistan, right? When you think about sure. the actual scale of the challenge you would be facing here. Tom, thank you so much. You're welcome. Out front now, Harel Harev, senior researcher at Tel Aviv University, who has spent a lot of time learning about the tunnels used by Hamas in Gaza. Harel, I really appreciate your time. So I know we heard some, frankly, shocking oh. facts about the tunnel network. You know a lot about it. What else can you tell us about the tunnels? Well, at least from uh, what I gleaned over the years, over the past decade that we know about this system since uh, Operation Protective Edge, which was a surprise for us. We didn't understand how vast uh, the system is and how sophisticated it, it is. Uh, I can tell you it's a, it's a very uh, large network of tunnels, uh, which, you know, have those centers or hubs, if you'd like, of uh, command rooms, of war rooms, they actually consist of anything that someone needs for a long stay underground. Um, just uh, for example, showers, uh, places where uh, people can rest, uh, storage uh, areas, uh, the firing shafts, um, uh, explosive tunnels, even explosive tunnels, I think, would be one of the things that uh, will wait there. A very old uh, tactic, by the way. Ex exits for uh, guerrilla attacks, uh, exits for uh, anti tank uh, squads, all sorts of things. And of course, for the systems uh, themselves, uh, uh, we need to understand there is a independent water system, sewage. Uh, electricity, AC, uh, that's a lot. So, yeah, wow. I guess that's what is waiting for us. Well, that's a lot. When you consider Gaza itself, the Gaza City has very little of that, not just now, but in general, right? Uh, uh, inconsistent electricity, inconsistent water, it, non-existent in many cases, air conditioning, right? You're saying that these tunnels have all that. When you say it's a vast network, what is, I mean, looking at Gaza is 25 miles long. How big is this tunnel network? And the numbers, I, I believe, that you have of how much was spent on constructing these sophisticated tunnels is also stunning. Yeah, it's stunning. Just to give you an idea, only the digging of one meter, namely uh, about a, a, a one meter, uh, would cost something like $300 just for one meter, and we're not talking about cables, electricity, all those systems that I mentioned, which adds on, of course, for a much larger number. So I think we're talking about, but nobody really knows. We need to be modest on it, but we can assume that it's probably not the 500 kilometers that Hamas claims that they have, but probably several dozens of kilometers underground. Uh, and we can also estimate that they invested above a billion, uh, above billion dollars in it. So it's substantial in terms of investment, of course. All right, Harrell, thank you very much. I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you, Erin. And next, our breaking news continues. He's fighting cancer, this young man, but he went to the music festival, had grenades thrown at him, he was shot, People around him died, and yet he survived, and he will tell you his story. Plus, two major superpowers meeting today, clearly, in a side in the war between Israel and Hamas. We are live in Beijing tonight. If you have moderate to severe Crohn's disease, SkyRizzy is the first and only IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver clinical remission and endoscopic improvement. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infection or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Control of Crohn's means everything to you. Ask your gastroenterologist about SkyRizzy. Learn how AbbVie can help you save. The Whole Story with Anderson Cooper is appointment viewing on Sunday nights. One whole story, one whole hour. The world's best journalists dig deeper into the stories they can't ignore. The Whole Story with Anderson Cooper, Sunday at 10 on CNN. As he started to wake up, we started noticing that 
he was not going to be his normal self. He was not able to speak well. He had no control of any of his bodily functions. He wasn't able to walk. Hamas Metro. A song by Paul Beckman, probably the most song, also the new first leader of humankind in the free world. Created October 18th, 2023. Hamas Metro. Hamas Metro. Hamas Metro. of caves underground in the Gaza Strip while the people outside on top don't always have consistent electricity and other things well they have made everything consistent in Hamas Metro yeah, huh? They care about themselves more than the Palestinians are supposed to govern or watch or take care of. We just had a private tour. Ha 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 ha, must metro. Ha 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 ha, must metro. Destroyed. Destroy, boys. <laughs> 